Here is Leonette Gonzalez. We thought maybe she wasn't going to continue, Kathy. I'm kind of surprised. I have a feeling I know what she's going to do. She's going to run down and maybe just touch the horse because the rules state if she plans to continue in the competition, meaning compete in the individual event finals, you cannot scratch an event. Oh. You have to make an appearance. So that's my feeling. I'm just guessing, but it sure looks that way. Didn't look like she could even run. Look at her. She's just dragging that leg. I'm also surprised at one other thing, and they've changed their lineup, and you're really not allowed to do that in international competition. I know why they did it, obviously. So hopefully yeah. they got approval. <laughs> we've seen a lot of things here that we've <laughs> never seen before. I've never been surprised. <laughs> it has been confusing at times. Oh, listen to the crowd. They're cheering her on. Well, does she actually have to go over the vault itself, the horse, no. or? All she has to do is touch the board and the horse. In fact, uh, the most famous incident was when Nadia Komanich did it in 1979 in the World Championships. She had an infection in her hand and could not compete in the all-around, obviously, but she had made balance beam final. Well, she had to compete for the team to try and help them win. So in order to continue and compete on the balance beam for them, she had to make an appearance. Yep, that's what she's doing. Uh, can you imagine this crowd? They have no idea what happens there. <laughs> well, that concludes rotation four here in the women's team's finals. The United States has won the gold for the 10th time in 11 Pan Am games. Cuba with the silver, and Canada is able to capture the bronze. Competition, a score of 380.775, four points more than the silver medal winners, Cuba. And in third place was Canada, who captured the bronze. A very unusual night. I have never seen a competition with as many highs and lows in, in one meet in my life. I think the lows came from, we, we saw youth and inexperience out there, but most importantly, a lot of talent out there that I think we're going to see a lot more from at the World Championships, the Olympic Games in the next four or five years. Well, Martin, your thoughts about it? Well, the U.S. team, I thought, really showed some gritty performances on both the floor exercise, their last rotation, and the uneven bars where the middle of the lineup really pulled in and did some great routines. The Cubans were starting to gain on the Americans at that point, and the American girls really put together strong performances. Well, they had the three top qualifiers for the other round, which will uh, begin on Friday. Stephanie Woods, who had the highest score of the night, a 9-8 in the vault. There's Shelly Stack. Kristen McDermott, Jimenez from Cuba, Hernandez from Cuba, Milen Flore from Canada, and Luisa Parente from Brazil, and Benetes from Cuba. So those are the top qualifiers for the women's all around. So the United States has won the goal. They have the top three qualifiers for the all around.